uh, you had a great career, Sid, but I'm going to bring up one instance in your career. In 1987, you guys were playing the dreaded Boston Celtics. Now, one guy I hated, I hated this guy even when he went to BYU, Danny Ainge. The Showtime Podcast with Michael Cooper is brought to you by FanDuel, the exclusive wagering partner of the CLNS Media Network. Oh, and uh, you had um, I don't, I don't want you had a fight with the guy. Shit, you I had, had a fight I had, with. The guy. I, had, I had a coup. Call it a coup. When you fight with someone. <laughs> Tell us about that, Sam. Because <laughs> <laughs> you got fined a thousand dollars back then. That was a lot of money. That was a lot. That was a lot of money. And <laughs> and I just didn't grow up with people just doing whatever they want to you, like elbowing you. I didn't mind someone hitting me with an elbow if it was, if it was an accident. But when someone is doing things intentional, I don't care who it was, Bill Lambert. Big, uh, big field goal does not get the free throw down. On Grief on the outlet, is stopped by Ainge, and they're at it. Boy, Sidney Moncrief is really upset. Cooper, who was <laughs> I played fair. I didn't. I wasn't dirty. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead, Sid. You have to. You have to. At least I did. I have. I had to stand my ground. And at the right time, you have to make a statement for not only yourself, but for your teammates. And we, we pride ourselves with the Bucks on trying to be not tough, tough, but tough enough of the type of players. But I remember I went down court and he elbowed me once. I was like, okay. Then when he elbowed me twice, I was like, all right, okay now. But when he did it the third time was something that I said, no, this is not going to work. <laughs> this ain't going to work. <laughs> so uh, there are pictures in the new arena of the frames from the time I went for his legs to the time I threw him on the ground. <laughs> There's frame one, frame two is amazing, frame three. And I always, I called my teammates, I called Junior and Harvey. I said, now, when I was on top of Danny Ames, I saw birds, I saw the Celtics, but I didn't see one butt player anywhere around. So what's going on with that? <laughs> <laughs> they were like, you own your own, buddy. <laughs> In a row, your temper gets short, and Sidney Moncrief took the ball to the basket, and Danny Ainge wrapped him up. Let's watch it. He wraps him up right there, and Sidney comes up swinging. Looked like Sidney may have delivered the first blow in terms of who punched who. Boy, he body slammed him, too, and then they go at it. Earl Strom and Daryl Garrettson are the officials. They'll have to sort this out. All three Boston coaches on the floor. Both of the Milwaukee coaches out there. That's all right. You've won. Just, you know, I've been fighting that guy since college to the pros. Dirty player, but you got to love Ames because he was doing I what he had to do for his team. And Ames is still one of my favorite, favorite players. Seriously, because you can't really fault a guy for competing. Exactly. And trying to gain an edge. And trying to get in your head. You can't fault him for that. And he, he did that very well. I like him as a player. I like him as a person. Massachusetts, listen up. The wait is finally over. FanDuel, America's number one sports book, is now live in Boston. I have so many people that love me in Boston. And new customers in Massachusetts can get in on the action with $200 in bonus bets guaranteed when you place your first $5 bet. Just sign up at FanDuel.com slash Boston. Finally, you can bet on all your favorite sports from the money line to point spreads to player props and more. Don't miss your chance to get $200 in bonus bets, win or lose. Visit FanDuel.com slash Boston. 